You probably know the reason why I'm using stock camera on the Note 8 Pro instead of Google camera. But for those of you who don't, well, the Note 8 Pro comes with a MediaTek chip, the G90T to be precise. And MediaTek chips don't really get along with Gcam. Only very few phones with MediaTek chips have been able to run Gcam without issues. So this video is more about what the title says. Does the Note 8 Pro with stock camera perform better than the Note 7 Pro with Google camera? My name is Ashwin Sundar and I'm gonna give you a clear idea about whether you should upgrade from your Note 7 Pro to the Note 8 Pro for camera performance. Guys, whether it's the Note 8 Pro or the Note 7 Pro or any other smartphone you purchase during this Amazon and Flipkart sale, our sponsor Capes India has a whole bunch of incredible skins for them. They look amazing and they also protect your brand new phone from scratches without adding any noticeable weight or thickness to the phone. It's so thin, you can comfortably use a transparent case on top if you want. Like I said, Cape skins are available for a lot of phones including the OnePlus 70 and the Samsung Galaxy M30s. So do check out Capes India, link in the description, use the promo code TJOCK to get 10% discount. With ample lighting in the scene, the Note 7 Pro's images have better dynamic range. The Note 8 Pro overexposes the sky. It's all pure white, no details. While on the Note 7 Pro's image, the clouds and the blue color of the sky are captured perfectly. Same here, the wall looks overexposed on the Note 8 Pro's image. The Note 8 Pro photos also have slightly oversaturated colors. The colors are actually more natural on the Note 7 Pro's photos. Although on Gcam, you can adjust the saturation, increase or decrease it depending on your taste. Now, one weird thing I noticed is, the Note 8 Pro's images look kind of washed out in some instances. Washed out as in, I'm not talking about the difference in saturation that we just spoke about. This is more about that faded look. Look at the bottom half of this image, it's completely messed up. It's probably an image processing flaw, which Xiaomi will fix. But still, just pointing out the differences. For close-up, the Note 7 Pro is much better. It was quite windy when I shot these pictures. The Note 8 Pro struggled to freeze it, but the Note 7 Pro did it really well. The image looks great. When it's not windy, when the subject is perfectly still, the images turn out fine on both. But if you zoom in, you can see that the Note 7 Pro still captures more details. And that's one of the perks of using Gcam. It captures even the minute details. Look at the road here. It's all super crisp. Now, in very few instances, the Note 8 Pro performed slightly better. The images are brighter while still getting the dynamic range right. But of course, overall, the Note 7 Pro is definitely better in these lighting conditions. Now, what we've been seeing so far are all 16 megapixel and 12 megapixel images, respectively. Let's now compare the high resolution photos, the Note 8 Pro's 64 megapixel images and the Note 7 Pro's 48 megapixel images. And yeah, it's possible to click 48 megapixel images on the Note 7 Pro's Google camera. Here's a video explaining how to do it. Here the Note 8 Pro captures sharper photos. The text is slightly more clear in this case. Uh, note that I said slightly because the difference isn't too big. When it comes to selfies, well, what can I say? The Note 8 Pro makes me look good, man. So I'm going to be biased here. Okay, jokes apart, the Note 8 Pro favors the face. It doesn't mind if other parts of the image look good or bad. The Note 7 Pro, on the other hand, makes sure no detail is missed. My t-shirt, 10M, the sky in the background, the pimples on my face, everything is captured well. It's just that if you prefer a brighter face, you need to edit it and editing is a hassle. So in that case, I would prefer the Note 8 Pro stock camera. Now, the point of this comparison is not to emphasize the Note 7 Pro's superiority. Well, it's not superior. The Note 8 Pro has the superior cameras. It's got a lot of potential. Here's a comparison between selfies shot using the stock camera on both phones. Clearly, the Note 8 Pro's selfies look better. It's just that the super high potential of Note 8 Pro's cameras requires something like Google Camera to provide the best results. That's the point of this comparison. Anyway, in dim lighting conditions, Note 7 Pro with Gcam again performs noticeably better. It contains the light better. It doesn't let the light leak into the surroundings too much. Barring this one thing, both phones perform almost equally well.
Now, here is a night mode comparison. Night mode on stock cam versus night sight on G cam. The Note 8 Pro doesn't stand a chance. G cam's night sight is obviously way better. The images are much brighter and cleaner. And even in reasonably lit scenes like this, although both photos look similar at first glance, the Note 7 Pro's night sight photo actually has a lot less noise. It's quite evident when you zoom in. It's much cleaner, like I said. The only thing the Note 8 Pro does better is getting the white balance right. As in, I shot these images in a hotel room which had a lot of warm yellow lights, so everything naturally looked a bit warm. And the Note 8 Pro got it right. The G cam on the Note 7 Pro tends to turn everything into white. So the Note 8 Pro's images ended up looking more natural, even though the Note 7 Pro's images are sharper with very low noise levels. So if you're into cameras, if you click photos very frequently, if camera is important to you, should you upgrade from the Note 7 Pro to the Note 8 Pro? Well, three things to keep in mind. Number one, yes, the Note 7 Pro with G cam is considerably better in almost every scenario. But remember, the Note 8 Pro has an ultra wide angle camera as well as a dedicated macro camera, which can go super close to the subject. It's just two megapixels, but still, so when it comes to versatility, the Note 8 Pro is the better option. Number two, if you're watching this video, you're probably a camera enthusiast. Uh, you know what Google camera is. With a bit of guidance, you can install and configure it properly. But for a common smartphone user who just wants to pick up the phone, point and shoot, Gcam is not the ideal solution. It takes a bit of time, effort and interest to get it running on your phone. And they might not have it. And for them, I would recommend the Note 8 Pro. And number three, you need to take this comparison with a pinch of salt because we are still a few weeks away from the Indian launch. In the meantime, Xiaomi could consider a Snapdragon chip for the Indian variant. Who knows? If it happens, then you can install Gcam on the Note 8 Pro as well. If you still have doubts, feel free to ask me through the comment section. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye. Why do I always forget to wave?